And we're live. Hello, everyone. Are we? Why are yeah. we so dark? Now much better. Let's see if we can have some more light to our mm -hmm. faces. Yes, we can. Okay, so Sunday Live didn't happen. And there was a big reason why it didn't happen. We're going to talk about it, why, and how we spend, spend today without electricity yesterday and how we actually survived. And it happened, it was nothing special. It, it's not some catastrophe. It's just, it happens when you over yeah. use electricity and we, it was Sunday, so we couldn't reach electricians. And then we have to adjust our way of mm -hmm. living so we can- uh, And eating actually. <laughs> eat what? Eating yeah, is they... living. What helped us? Fasting help us, helps us. Uh, we both are accustomed to fasting. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we didn't have ready food, because I was in, at that moment in the process of creating food and uh, dinner, or was it lunchtime? Mm -hmm. We never eat breakfast. As many of you know, we like to do the morning fast, which is exactly. the best fast because your body uh, utilizes uh, the all the benefits mm -hmm. of fasting period when you just wake up before you look at us from yeah. years before. <laughs> years before, yeah, exactly. Or it's a one or two years mm -hmm. before. So uh, we survived and we were really happy at the end of the day when we realized that by the fireplace with some cold cuts and it was a sausage and prosciutto mm -hmm. and smoked salmon on the menu, you can survive. Okay, maybe the fridge will, doesn't work. Yeah, but but, uh, we ate and uh, some pickles, uh, so uh, it was uh, generally something different, but uh, nothing out of uh, the ordinary stuff. But you can have uh, all day. Yeah, yeah. I think this is really important to to, to be able to uh, set a, a different mindset, better to say, and uh, to have available both stuff for uh, if you're in a hurry or something uh, like this, a, a small crisis. Maybe it's going to happen. It's really important. Uh, you're going to have something to fuel your body properly. And after that, you're ready to fast. So if this happens, for example, whatever reason it is, it could be a natural catastrophe. Mm -hmm. It could be earthquake, as it happened not far away from here in Croatia a couple of weeks ago. There was exactly. an enormous earthquake. Or maybe something else. Simply, you will stay without electricity. How to be prepared as a Ketonian? Number one thing, you always have to have some clean, cold cuts. When I uh, say clean, on keto Mediterranean diet, we are always placing emphasis on... Hello, Paulita. Hi, Paulita. Hi. We are sorry we've been late a little bit, but here we are. As promised, we will be live. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to stay on the side of omega-3. So you will have some uh, beef or uh, uh, mutton uh, dried meat, you will have some sausages, you will have smoked preferably mm -hmm. because they can go for a long time without exactly. uh, being cooled. You can even keep them at room temperature at 20 degrees Celsius and the whole day or a couple of days, nothing's going to happen. This is how our ancestors kept food, by smoking it, drying it and this way. Uh, preserving it. Also fermented foods such as sauerkraut can survive without electricity. You also have to have some smoked fish. It's amazing a way to uh, stay nourished in situations when you are back in the time when there wasn't even electricity. Well, there exactly. will be some times and maybe you will be forced. I will give now an example of how, hello Peter. Hi and Peter. Hi, uh, so nice of you to join. It's, uh, I think, I don't know, did you share it on Twitter? I think Peter saw on Twitter. No, I didn't. I don't know if it, uh, there was a notification. Uh, uh, I'm just making a post now on uh, Krivos Keto Facebook page. Facebook page, so we can invite more of Ketonians to join us and talk about surviving 
uh, the horror of modern world and actually mm -hmm. if something bad happens, how to get prepared. I'm going to give you uh, an example of something we did in my country during the war when many homes stayed without electricity for m even water uh, for months, for mm -hmm. some of them just a couple of weeks, but uh, there were places where people didn't have electricity for a year. Uh, it's a great thing to have extremely quality pottery. For example, pots that have uh, those layers of several la uh, layers, they're making them with uh, uh, metals such as gold, platinum, and those mm -hmm. very expensive metals. At least one pot like that, that has a very thick uh, bottom and that can uh, spread the heat uh, better and easier mm -hmm. than a classical pot. This pot could save your life in a situation if you stay without electricity or if you are camping or if you are somewhere where simply at that moment there isn't electricity or there isn't other way of heating. You will be able, as we did during the war, you would be able to cook a proper meal for a family of four or more people by just utilizing a candle. You will literally use, good afternoon, Darlene. Good afternoon. Hi. Oh, he saw it on YouTube. <coughs> on YouTube That's great. Yeah. That's great. YouTube is se sending uh, um, notifications. This mm -hmm. is why we actually switched to YouTube so that we could. Uh, but, but definitely you need to be accustomed to ketogenic diet. We don't want uh, to follow a ketogenic diet just because it's uh, uh, just high, but we want to get all those benefits. Uh, you know that... Uh, in situations, uh, we will not talk about war, but uh, small no, crisis. So we talked about any crisis. Just yeah. uh, electricity shortage. People who are uh, usually Easy consuming uh, sugar, they're gonna be ravenous, which means they're gonna they have constantly rapidly hungry. gonna change mood. That means that immediately gonna search for food, and if you don't have something available, it's gonna Cut be really difficult. Yeah, fat, fat adaptation, adaptation is, the key. is extremely important. It will allow you to stay mm -hmm. hungry for longer, even if you have to be hungry. At that moment, you have to go somewhere to find the food, exactly. to uh, prepare it, to wait for it mm -hmm. to be prepared. As I said, you could utilize just a candle if you have proper pot or a pan, which is transferring uh, heat, heat properly. Yeah you will be able to prepare a meal even in such a situation. In a situation when you have to... Uh, I see eggs also, eggs, uh, and especially pickled eggs are a, a savior. I yes, think you should, you always should have, have eggs. some pickled yeah. eggs. To find the recipe for pickled eggs, we have it in Rico's Keto. You don't have to have... Quail or uh, eggs, but just hen eggs, be yeah, of course. Quail eggs could also save you. Why? Mm -hmm. Because quail eggs could be consumed raw or raw, raw yeah. <laughs> let me say it British, so not raw, mm -hmm. raw. Uh, if you consume uh, like six or eight quail eggs, you got yourself a meal, even if you're just mm -hmm. going to whisk it with a hand because there's no electricity, there are no mixers, so you're going to use, except if you have the one with the battery, like they have for the coffee. Yeah, but uh, generally you, you, it's not something uh, you need a, a super... Uh, uh, high-tech equipment anymore. It's really easy and you need a survival guide, I think, because uh, there are difficult times and you're going to meet the difficulties uh, because maybe you're going to travel, uh, maybe because you stay without electricity, maybe it's hard, just happen an earthquake, but uh, we mm -hmm. cannot, things that we cannot fight, you know, just simply. The things in the, on this planet are very bad at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, in every country, there's another problem, but uh, what I can see what's happening in Europe uh, people are scared. Fear is the main emotion. And out of fear, you can see different reaction. And it's interesting how people that I know are fat adapted, are on keto for longer than three months. I would say three is enough. Yeah, it depends. If you're following necessary all the steps you made uh, an adaptation, yeah, definitely it's a good way to go. And uh, you can say that you're fat adapted, but uh, if you're introducing, introducing, I'm sorry, a lot of carbohydrates, then uh, mm -hmm. it, it's really bad. Plus, uh, uh, look, those chickens, they are yeah. just free range and pasture raised, actually. That means, this means quality. We got egg. the question what means pasture raised chicken? Yeah, yeah. This that, means pasture raised. Look at it. They are finding their own natural food. Exactly. Those Imagine eggs contain omega-3s. This is it. When you, you have those eggs, you know that you have something quality that you can fuel your body 
uh, adequately. So uh, if you're buying uh, just uh, these uh, eggs, uh, they don't know where they come from, if they were fed properly, uh, it, it's going to be a problem for you. So I, heard, I have heard many uh, are recommending to get canned food. If you can, rather buy dried and smoked food. Mm -hmm. Stock yourself up with dried and smoked food or prepare your own pickled food. Yeah, this definitely. is going to save you through a crisis. Or, for example, there will be food shortage. Or their uh, supermarkets will close. Don't depend on supermarkets. Always have a stock of the things that you need. Even if you don't live somewhere where, uh, for example, there are farms, you can ask around mm -hmm. and see. Maybe there is somebody having chickens or hens or uh, Quails, quails like yeah, that. Or so you uh, would be able, really doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. You would be able to get some healthy ketogenic food. So I, I was saying keto people, mm -hmm. those people that I know are doing keto longer than three or six months, they are not having so many fear, fearful mo moments, and fear reaction to current situation because we have a lot of. Uh, restriction. Human rights are totally at the bottom. Uh, there are talks about uh, some uh, discrimination when it comes to travel. There's a travel ban all around the globe. People are forced to do tests. People are forced to do vaccines or whatever it is, genetical uh, immunization it is. Uh, and it's, everybody's afraid. We keep hearing news about people having awful side effects. And then we also have some other things which, which are related to economic crisis. Here are the quail eggs. Yeah, so and I think all those stuff are related because nobody wants to really change their nutrition. You know, it's really important that you want to take uh, the first step and change your nutrition because, uh, okay, the drugs can do, uh, maybe going to help you uh, for a few months and after that you're going to have to increase the dose. Mm -hmm. the, uh, and the main reason is that you never change your nutrition. The root, the rotten root, which is a uh, really bad nutrition because doctors, they're not nutritionists, they're not dietitians, they don't know about nutrition. It's so simple. They're going to just provide a health Except touch. a few of them, just the, a few yeah, of them okay, who have them. been actually studying these. The vast majority of them, especially exactly. those who stick to pharmaceutical products as the only cure will not actually help you. There is not cure in pharmaceutical products. Maybe you're going to mask uh, your... Uh, problems for a while and after that you're going to have to increase the dosage because uh, it's not enough and you never uh, cure the real uh, problem uh, the nutrition mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, just nutrition uh, if you're not eating something which is going to fuel it properly and it's going to make problems uh, and hormonal disbalances that means that uh, you're going to require more and more drugs mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really pretty much normal and uh, if you have problem with your immune system, that's your problem, not mine. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you need to, to uh, that you need to, to eat not just quail eggs. Uh, I understand that maybe sometimes difficult to source all those uh, stuff, and it's uh, really hard. But uh, you're gonna have to do your best to find quality food for you and your family, especially nowadays. That's really difficult. You know, and you cannot depend on supplements. Supplements are artificially uh, lab laboratory created. Uh, dusty or it's not just this it's a light version of drugs it's a light version it's an introduction to to to, to drug stores you know what you want to i start with high light uh, i'm starting with a with a beer until i'm gonna go to the to the liquor for example you yeah. know to whiskey to whiskey yeah so, it's something it's an a great comparison a great comparison you uh, by taking supplements you're not actually helping yourself you're uh, making more an addiction problems. you're creating an addiction and i was a, a supplement addict clean. i know what what is this thing uh, i had to buy supplements because i thought that they're going to help me to make a better physique uh, they're going to help me to lift more weight so I have better body, blah, 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 all those stories that we know really well, spending enormous amounts of money for no reason. Uh, instead, investing that amount of uh, man, money that I was spending every month uh, to real food. Mm -hmm. Big mistake. Real food, quality food, mm -hmm. food that you can enjoy, and at the same time, feel the benefits of those foods. When you pay attention to what you are preparing, those two meals, and we always recommend only two meals a day, you do not need more than two meals. Uh, when you pay attention to 
first and second meal of yours, even so, if you are doing OMAD, but let's talk about first and second meal. If you put an emphasis on micronutrients, if you put more omega-3 than omega-6 in your meal, if you put enough of great nutrients, and if you take foods which are naturally rich in uh, vitamins such as vitamin mm -hmm. D, vitamin A, vitamin C, and by the way, I'm going to bring now, now my vitamin uh, see bomb with uh, which is a dessert, but it's infused with great collagen because I made it with grass fed beef ge uh, gelatin and then with omega 6, omega 7, sorry, omega 3, omega 7, and omega 9. Mm -hmm. All those great fatty acids with collagen and vitamin C, in which C, and it was ready. How long it took me? Less than five minutes. Yeah, of course. It's I think less than five minutes. Easy, busy. While I bring but, this uh, beautiful it's dessert, a, it's to a show misconception, you, you know. Uh, Calispera, Calispera. Calispera. Uh, I didn't yeah, say. you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Calispera, anyway. Uh, uh, so, guys, it's a misconception where people think that they cannot uh, eat those one or two meals a day because they are addicted uh, to carbohydrates, and this uh, creates uh, this loop that all the time you have to eat six or seven meals uh, per day. So they think they're gonna be hungry. Actually, you will not be hungry. You will forget what's hunger. Mm -hmm. So this is the, really important to understand that if you want to start eating mm -hmm. diet, you're gonna forget what actually is hunger. Maybe you need a week or two. After that, you, you pass, you overpass that thing, mm -hmm. that so-called hunger, because uh, even if you're going to enter starvation or uh, what we try to mimic with ketogenic diet and uh, intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. uh, it's not the, the lack of, uh, of uh, hunger. People don't understand. They think they're going to be, oh, I'm going to be hungry. What's I going to do? I, I'm going to have to eat uh, two meals a day, one meal a day. Are you crazy? I'm going to starve. You know, and they're getting into that uh, mentality, which is really, really... I would say bad. It's really wrong to, to have that approach. As passing the time, the hours actually, in the days that you feel less and less hungry. So uh, introducing them quality food, uh, fats that are gonna provide satiety, quality protein, very uh, a small amount of carbohydrates that they are uh, of course approved in ketogenic diet, and you solve your problem. Exactly, it's Grigoria. It's Grigoria. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Grigoria. Tikanis, posiste. <laughs> What's evening. you brought us? So, what I brought, I brought a bomb. Guys, have a look at this beauty. Look how nicely it looks. It's my jello made with grass-fed beef gelatin, sea buckthorn juice, and the pieces of sea buckthorn berries. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, natural spring mineral but, uh, water. You can see that the, actually the sea buckthorn berries mm -hmm. here they are mm -hmm. light mm -hmm. and this is really good quality. If you, you are gonna buy uh sea bark from Those dry, dry. but they're really dark, black almost, they're not good. This means they have been dried chemically by using osmosis. Exactly. These ones were dried naturally by uh, mm -hmm. just uh, 40 degrees Celsius exposure to high temperature. It's almost it's a like sun dried. So uh, it's something it's, like sun dried. Exactly. But what's interesting about them? They can go for five years, so you can stock up on these things and have them as a natural supplement, which is gonna help you recover if you have any kind of infection or inflammation, or you're recovering from an injury. Yeah. Look how much collagen. Yeah. Look yeah. how much collagen is keeping my. That's it. In and if you're gonna have in your bone broth. Then you're covered, you know, you're good to go. I have my jello, which is something sweet, it's gonna take away that uh, mm -hmm. uh, f uh the, this feeling that I'm not consuming any sweet. No, mm -hmm. you can have that, it's uh, awesome, tastes amazing. You have uh, uh, real food, vitamin C, Almost like collagen, orange. electrolytes, like orange, but it's not orange. all of those stuff are just uh, concentrated here, plus mm -hmm. your main meal. Mm -hmm. It's it's so simple, it's, it's uh, a dessert that even those. They and provide satiety. This is again the key. Not supposed to have dessert, they can have it because mm -hmm. it has zero, almost zero carbs. How much carbs in this sea buckton juice concentrated? It's, uh, one gram in a hundred. And ml, here here I is, use like two, three tablespoons of, of yeah, concentrated juice. We're talking about 0 0.3 grams of carbohydrates per the rest is per water. These, uh, per serving, amazing. let's call it. So invest. Maybe it's expensive. Maybe it doesn't exist in your uh, area, but you can mm -hmm. order it online. It's not very expensive. Actually, I think 
I saw it, it's like $12 uh, in United States dried berries or $20 and it was like half a kilo. Yeah. So make sure that it's organic, that it's dried naturally by using heat, not osmosis. We don't want chemical processes. We don't want any processes which cannot be mm -hmm. done at home. Very simple. You want to consume only those things which even you can make at home. Like for example, place them in the oven and dry them. So you want it to be as natural as possible. You do not want chemical processes. You don't want high pressure, as mm -hmm. the chemistry professor said, the high pressure the method. High pressure system, you don't yeah. want it because even the exposure to high pressure is destroying the nutrients in many foods, uh, except the only food which will not lose uh, nutrients at high pressure are the bones when they are extracting gelatin from the bones. So uh, everything else, especially fruits like sea buckton, will lose uh, nutrients. So you don't want that. You just want natural way of drying the fruit, packing it, and delivering to And of you. course, have it always uh, immediately after your, your uh, meal, if it's OMAD, immediately mm -hmm. after your main meal. And if you have two meals, uh, maybe I would suggest after the, the second meal because you need to fast at least 16 to 18 hours, then you want a lot of food. You I had my meal yeah. half an hour ago. Okay, so I'm out of the Apollonas recommendation, but it's jello. You can have it. Yeah, at exactly. Any time, Normal products, jello, which is zero really carb jello. Yeah, uh, which is really good for people that want to avoid uh, lactose or all those uh, stuff they have intolerance, mm -hmm. uh, or generally they don't want to consume any milk products. Uh, it's so mild and so fruity. The, the you aromas. can uh, I use hundred switch to. Uh, uh, sparkling mineral water for electrolytes. Not sparkling, not sparkling. You can't use sparkling. This, I used uh, a natural one? spring. Sparkling, unfortunately, doesn't allow gelatin to set. So never sparkling. This is a big important thing to know. Not sparkling, but just natural spring mineral we water. We made it with the, with the ice creams with uh, sparkling mineral water. That's another thing. There is no gelatin. The reason that. was there. Then my bad. Uh, gelatin. But, uh, uh, remember, somebody had a problem and let us know. Uh, which that one they was couldn't that? Uh, it's, I tried it and it's impossible to make a jello with sparkling. Anyway, the carbon uh, will not allow it to become a gelatin. So always use still water, but mineral water. But for electrolytes, water. definitely you have your, uh, your bone broth. I think mm. there uh, you are. Uh, uh, you should make those stuff. Uh, it's really easy to make. You can have the six, seven uh, servings. Uh, uh, really easy. Uh, Sibacton is uh, um, in USA, at least Amazon and all those uh, big uh, uh, sites mm -hmm. they have them. So it's uh, really it's easy. It's very to, easy to find it. You yeah. just have to invest a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Everything which you can purchase dried in dried form, this means also you can keep it at home without electricity. You don't need a refrigerator, you don't need a freezer, anything with dried things such as dried meat, dried fish smoked or dried whatever is your favorite yeah it's really good it looks amazing and dried uh, berries keep those things always at home because you never know when things like what happened to us yesterday could happen to you be prepared aged cheese for example can mm -hmm. sustain at room temperature but not any type just those extremely uh, aged cheeses like 12 months 24 months yeah, or I even think. more yeah, if you can those find can those, uh, like parmesan and all those stuff, yeah, parmesan, yeah. yeah they they don't have any uh, carbohydrate content. Uh, that's because? amazing. We we always searching for uh, fermented food. Uh -huh. Fermented uh, foods generally they are really good for our uh, guts, gastrointestinal mm -hmm. system. So uh, I think we should uh, introduce all those stuff slowly. Calimera, Ivan. Calispera, Calispera. Ah, Calispera. Yeah. Ah, Ivan is from. From Greece. Yeah, I yeah. thought he's somewhere in the United States. No. Then it would be Calimera. Calimera, yeah, exactly. I think he's Bulgarian. And I think we have been talking about Shipka. Am I right, Ivan? Yeah, maybe maybe mm -hmm. the group. Which is rose hip. Mm -hmm. I just published a couple of, yesterday actually, a recipe for meat sauce, lamb burgers with uh, rose hip. Rose hip, yeah. Sauce. Check it out. And now we are talking about sea buckthorn, which is... Uh, I think it's the star of Greek ghost keto. I made so many Bugatze is behind Bugatze, me. Yeah. <laughs> I made so many keto versions of dessert, and I think I'm gonna even try to utilize sea buckton in some savory dishes. For example, combine mm -hmm. it with meat. Why not? If rose hip goes well with meat, I think. 
there are I made us soup. So, yeah, they're gonna I be made us a uh, raw soup and I used a lot of rose hip and became mm -hmm. nicely red in color and gave great flavor. There are so many things which you can keep in your kitchen in dried form and have yourself wonderful uh, meals prepared and keep mm -hmm. yourself fed, well fed. Coconut oil can stay at room temperature for hours and, and days and months. Uh, tallow stuff, yeah. also is, ever since ancient ages, uh, tallow has been kept at room temperature because then it's much easier. You can easier. deep fry also, so uh, it's re really uh, safe like coconut oil, uh, it can mm -hmm. uh, handle high so temperature. Let's say you're going to use gas stove or you're going to maybe use, uh, as I just described earlier, candles to actually prepare a meal, which is possible mm -hmm. if you have the right uh, pottery. So uh, you will be able to use tallow, you will be as able to use uh, coconut oil and ghee. This is extremely important. If you get yourself a jar of ghee, you will be able to keep it at room temperature. So whatever happens, you stay without electricity, you have to go to hide yourself in the basement, whatever really uh, attacks you, a natural catastrophe or something that simply you cannot avoid, you will be prepared properly. Mm -hmm. And as a Ketonian, you know that those food that will mm -hmm. keep you in good condition, well-fed and with clear minds are mainly based on protein and fat. You don't need carbs. Exactly. And uh, Especially uh, in uh, the don't forget that you, you want in saturated fats. Saturated fats, that's what you want to deep fry in saturated fats, like uh, coconut oil, like uh, tallow, maybe ghee, uh, All this is saturated fat. Uh, saturated fat, because saturated unsaturated, fat. Uh, it's uh, really easy to uh, oxidize. It's really harmful for us. Why is this happen? Because of the chemical construction, you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's so simple. If you're going to see it from a point of view of the chemistry, yeah, it's a, mm -hmm. it's, it's a problem. Uh, because it's really uh, easy to oxidize. Three mo molecules, huh? Yeah, exactly. And uh, what is trans fat, for example? Uh, you can see if you're going to see all those bonds and all those stuff in chemistry, you're going to understand. It's so easy uh, to understand. We taught that in the school mainly. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, after that, uh, we forgot about it because we, uh, we didn't pay attention and we didn't care. Now is the time to read more. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another thing which you have to always have at your home have a lot of books have a variety of books, something that will entertain you, something that will educate you, exactly. something that I will give the, big the key. encyclopedias. Keep big encyclopedias at home. Google will not always be available. Internet will not always be available. Mm -hmm. You will be in a situation that you actually will have to depend on old-fashioned books. So if you have a place at home, start loading it with books. This is the best investment you can have. Uh, of course, if you have a hobby, it's also a great way to do something creative, to create something, to make something at home. But uh, this is also going to make you feel better about yourself and braver. You need, you need to have a, a library. Uh, they used to say, you know, that uh, a house uh, without a library is a house without a It's like a house without a soul, you mm -hmm. know? It doesn't have. You, you need to have several books, uh, at least uh, what interests you. You know, it's really important. But uh, And something uh, about that you want to learn, like uh, for uh, nutrition, for example, maybe a little bit of chemistry, a little biology, because we, we said the body is biochemistry. Mm -hmm. So we cannot think like physics. Uh, so we want to take a, a book that is uh, for uh, high school, for example. And the answers, maybe we're going to find answers there. It's mm -hmm. incredible that if you want to open high school books, so much information inside that we didn't... Oh, I remember that. I'm checking that. You know, and you're going uh, every... Uh, you're reviewing everything and you realize that you learn all that uh, information, but you never actually use it. And it's time uh, to utilize it mm -hmm. because you need to know more about nutrition. You need to know uh, how to benefit from all of this uh, that you are consuming. You need to know to read the labels. Are those ingredients really quality? Should I feed these myself and my family? Mm -hmm. We should think twice before we're gonna buy something next time with barcode. Mm -hmm. Actually, we should avo avoid buying with barcode whenever it's possible. I know that uh, uh, it, it's really difficult to understand. You know, for example, uh, for uh, people in the USA, in uh, UK, for example, or 
like Australia, that uh, the language is English. It's maybe really easy, you know, you have access. But think about, for example, let's go Greece. A lot of people don't maybe even speak English in Greece. And they have information only in Greek, which is limited. You want a scientific research? I'm going instantly to, to search in a website, in a worldwide web in English. I'm not going to search something in Greek because I, it's not reliable. You understand? So well, we need to think uh, Except that, if it's ancient Greek. Yeah, then okay. it will be reliable. Uh, it will be, but uh, you understand that uh, you have an advantage and you need to utilize it, that you have access to all those stuff because, for example, English is number one. Mm -hmm. After that, it's Spanish, uh, German, Italian, doesn't matter what, Chinese, or whatever it is, you know. But uh, you should utilize that info, that you have access to uh, a vast uh, uh, amount, actually. It's an enormous amount of information that is uh, loaded uh, in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So uh, you should uh, utilize for me that. Yes, of course, everybody should invest in the in, in the source of information. And if internet or electricity is not available, what's left? We have to have good books. We have mm -hmm. to actually even perform small experiments in the kitchen alone. We yeah. have to exactly. learn on how to cook an open fire. We have to learn how to grill. We have to learn how to actually uh, use and prepare ready meals, which are not even, don't have to be cooked. Those are usually fermented or uh, those types mm -hmm. of foods that could be eaten raw. Now, I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't have some nuts because they're dry and you can keep them and they could save you maybe, but try to, try to stay away whenever it's possible. Mm -hmm. Like keep it once per month, prepare a nut-based uh, flour, bread or uh, cake, keto, of course, only once per month. Because if you keep consuming it constantly every day, you will still intake too many omega-6, too little omega-3, and there are oxalates and there are carbs in nuts and they can trick you so easily because they're packed in carbs and fats. And the purpose of nuts in the nature is to fatten the animals, such as bear. So if the animals are taking uh, nuts to get fattier so that they can yeah, survive exactly. the winter, then think about what's going to happen to you. Exactly the same thing. It's normal. You're gonna get Lipogenesis, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's so simple. Uh, during the autumn, we can see that bears and all those animals are going to just uh, eat tremendous amounts of those nuts just to, uh, to fall asleep, you know, and they need all this amount of to energy. To have the energy during yeah, the sleep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You it's... don't need that. You are awakened mm -hmm. at least 20, uh, uh, sorry, not 20, that would be too much, Correct, but yeah. at least 18 hours per day you are awake. So you do not need something that will uh, provide you that long, long uh energy like the bear needs for a couple of months of sleeping so you definitely need to stay in ketosis it's very good for you but do not strive but to but stay i in think deep this, ketosis. Uh, uh, all this technology made us a little bit lazy you know we don't know for example how to hunt we don't know how to mm -hmm. uh, to That's plant something, thing. we to don't run. know yes. uh, yeah, uh, how to sew our clothes, we don't know, because mm. ah, I need to, it's really, I'm going to buy a new one, because it's so cheap, it, was, it used to be, you know, you need to sew it, you don't have money to buy another one. You need to fix it. To exactly. fix it, exactly, and we don't know anymore to fix stuff, we are just mm. buying new, and the same is happening with our skills, we don't have skills, because my mixer, when I'm throwing something, is waiting for me, is mixing it for me, is cooking it for me, it's just that, ask me how I am I, you know. A couple uh, of days ago, I made something with a whisk. Remind me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Hollandaise sauce. And I told you it's better than when I make it with a mixer. Mm -hmm. Hollandaise sauce. And it was like I realized a whisk and my hand can do miracles. So why should I depend on all these gadgets and all this equipment and then blame them for something that didn't turn out the way I wanted? I should just practice the way old-fashioned chefs did it and then when I really don't have time I will utilize the electric, electric uh, devices or mixers or whatever mm -hmm. blender etc but learn to a little skills, bit skills yeah I think it's uh, it's uh, what we're gonna need in the future we're gonna have to go back actually to learn the, the real skills 
The, for example, when I served in the army, I think that uh, gave me uh, a new window or, or uh, opportunities, if you want, to explore more things, how to do it uh, differently. Because you need uh, to survive for 20 days uh, in an open field, for example, just your sleepy bag, uh, you have a, a, a metal spoon and, and a fork, and that's it, you know. Uh, nothing else. You don't have a no second pair of socks, nothing. And uh, you need to train yourself. Exactly, I think this is, this is survival. Survival is uh, what we which forgot. You never know what's waiting. You have to be prepared to live without technology. So we understand we are uh, very much technology oriented. We love internet. We love love watching movies, exactly. watching TV shows. We want uh, chatting with friends. We like uh, ex to explore all the social media and the possibility to spread. Technology the news. is amazing, actually. It's but, uh, something, but we uh, we mistreat it. This is this is uh, the we problem. We must not overuse it. The same as I must not overuse not even the healthiest ingredient. Mm -hmm. You can't overeat meat, for example. Meat will make you feel exactly. full very soon. But uh, so don't forget that uh, things... uh, availability that we have uh, took away our skills, and availability is what made us sick. Mm -hmm. It's uh, what brought all these contemporary diseases. Availability. We have everything available. If we didn't have it, we would be way much better. Uh, Patty says, my whisking skills are amazing. Thank you so much. I just practiced it. I think yeah, anybody can learn top. to make a mayonnaise, uh, a, any type of sauce, mm -hmm. uh, I've got lemon or sauce, yeah. anything with just a whisk, quality whisk, invest in kitchen uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's your treasure. That's mm -hmm. going to save you one day. Thank you, Patty, for this wonderful comment, and thank you for joining us again. I know that you took a break from internet, but I'm really glad that you're coming and seeing, seeing our lives because we are staying in touch, and we always love to stay in touch with people who have been with Grigos Kito and supported Grigos Kito from the beginning. It means a lot to us, mm -hmm. and our mission and our goal is to spread the news about healthiest way of living and being happy in order to be happy, number one thing that I want to invite all of you now, everybody watching me, all eight of you, I know it's only eight people, but I don't worry because I know after we share it on social media, we'll have more viewers. I want you guys to work on your mm -hmm. bravery. How brave are you? What are you afraid of? What are your inner fears? What is... Uh, preventing you from becoming a better, happier human? Can you invest some time daily in meditation, reading, uh, self-help, uh, hobbies, art, uh, creativity? And now another extremely important thing, which I'm going to ask Apollonas to talk about, exercise, physical training. Can you invest some time to make yourself a better, healthier mm -hmm. Uh, human Panayoti says nine, that nine, he's nine. the ninth. Somebody else. Now came. we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Theodore is here. Just made some very... sea buckton jello for myself for dinner. Now that's ah. great. Enjoy it. You see, I couldn't even finish mm -hmm. it. It's so uh, I, I used a lot of gelatin. I used actually uh, thirty grams, mm -hmm. and that's a lot uh, for uh, one liter of water. And it made it really thick. It's almost like a like a gummy or a. Uh, uh, jelly, you know those jellies that they sell like uh, mm -hmm. like uh, candies. Jellies, Anyways, beans, whatever they call. Yeah, like, yeah. Like bears, those bears, yeah. gummy bears. Gum exactly, bear. that's the consistency I made. But you can make it lighter, like a real Jello, whatever you prefer, as long as you use grass-fed beef gelatin. So I'm jumping from one subject to another. Uh -huh. I want you guys to be a little bit more brave invest in your health don't be afraid to spend money for good food money for uh, not spend invest invest for gym equipment at home in many countries around the world for example especially in united kingdom there's a and in Greece, there's a lockdown gyms are not working people don't know what to do to exercise yeah can you talk about it? Can you come? What are you doing? Yeah, uh, this is a, a really difficult part. You know, when we're talking about nutrition and uh, exercise, a lot of people say it's 80% nutrition, 20% exercise. No, what is the other 80% that's missing from uh, exercise? Hello, Elizabeth from Nafplio, isn't she? No, Nafpliotis is her last name. Oh, it's her hey, last she's name. not from Nafplio, so, we don't know that. But 
some of her ancestors. Maybe, yeah, her maybe. Great Why grandfather not? is from Naplio, which we love. We've been there. We yeah, love that place. place. I want to go there again. It's one of the most mm -hmm. beautiful towns in Greece. Uh, Darlin says, yum. Yum, yeah, exactly. Yeah, please continue about exercise. So, wait, for me, it's another 100%. Uh, you need to follow your. Uh, if it's this you are doing carnivore, uh, zero carb, uh, keto, low carb, doesn't matter, do it 100%. And uh, exercise another 100%. Because I see a lot of people, uh, even though uh, sometimes they're working in the gyms or not, they are with a cell phone, uh, uh, talking around. To do that, you should do. You know, it's like you're eating keto, but you're eating a little bit carbs and a little bit of uh, this and a little bit of that. It's the same thing. If you're going to go to train, then train. If you want to eat, then eat. You understand? So what you can do about nutrition is uh, really critical. First of all, you need to, uh, to pay attention to your technique. If you're going to train without proper technique, you're going to have an injury. The same thing with uh, nutrition. If you're going to introduce something that's not proper for you, you will not have the results that you want. Things that you can do is uh, maybe buying, uh, I know maybe a lot of people don't have the space in their uh, houses, apartments, uh, to buy equipment. Uh, for example, I bought uh, a rowing machine. I love rowing. What about uh, mat? Or but, some a mat. Yeah, the yeah. The floor can yeah, be you, easily you can, you rolled. Can, like, rolled uh, you can buy dumbbells. Dumbbells are exercise or uh, bars. You can uh, buy easy bar. You can buy... Uh, those, uh, those gummy things you have, how they're called. Which gummies? Which you are... Uh, uh, bands. Bands. Okay, you can have bands. You can have uh, many things. Gummy <laughs> things. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Gummy things, or oh, those laces, gummy laces. <laughs> gummy bears, yeah, gummy, gummy laces. bears. Yeah, wow. Okay, today I'm uh, all about gummy things. Gummy. Okay, he so, has yeah, gummy things in the I have bands, guys. So, yeah, uh, all those stuff, especially if you're a beginner uh, and you want to do a proper introduction, I think uh, bands, uh, dumbbells, uh, small equipment, uh, even uh, weights that you can uh, uh, have in a no more than a small tiny room you can be okay for you you can uh, there are plenty of exercises in the web uh, but i'm telling you it's all about technique panayoti it's, says he's from uh, panos apopatra ime apolana he sent, sent you an, me an email, email says so uh, he's gonna check email panayoti and he's gonna yeah i think i already later. replied yeah or I maybe he even already yeah. replied check your email definitely peter says when you spend on high quality food you don't have to buy as much that's another thing because nutritional density will not allow you to eat too much of that food and then you will be able to eat a proper one or two meals a day and save you are mm -hmm. actually saving by buying more quality exactly food. i think uh, this Higher is it uh, but uh, for me uh, the governments made an enormous mistake by closing the, the gyms because uh, they kept uh, open mcdonald's for example and, uh, which is what What's going on? McDonald's you know, is you open. Are, you're getting ob obesity, and you don't want to train the others. But the gyms are closed, so uh, let's for see me, where it's, this it's, it's really is tricky going. that. Uh, so I had to uh, to literally uh, demolish the one room and make uh, my own gym. Uh, I, I couldn't start this. Anymore. Okay, he made it because he, all his life he has been heavily training, and he's used to that, and that's his uh, huge passion. Yeah, exactly. Your passion doesn't have to be to invest in gym equipment like a professional gym but this is what Apollon has told you you can buy so many small things which yeah, could exactly. serve even a chair the, like the one I'm sitting body on right weight, now if you can do body weight can exercises serve for dips. Yeah. body uh, dips body dips uh, everything uh, uh, your own body is your own tool you know and uh, that's it uh, after that you can buy uh, small uh, as I told you dumbbells or bands or all those stuff that they can uh, uh, increase exactly, your Panayoti, uh, we are talking about calisthenics. Calisthenics, exactly. yeah, exactly. This your is body, body weight. weight. Uh, we uh, Apollo has also wrote an article about it. You can find it on Greek Whiskey to read about it. It's in English, but I'm quite sure that you will be able to read it. Elizabeth says, True, B. <laughs> <laughs> B. B. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, Elizabeth is from Nafplia in the end. <laughs> True. <laughs> Or if she is not, for me, she is. She is, okay. Because it's done. Of the last so uh, if you have space, uh, what personally I did, I bought a, a power rack that I make multiple exercises in just one place. I can squat, I can deadlift, I can make uh, military presses, overhead presses, uh, or uh, as I said, squat, bench press, incline press, everything, literally everything in one uh, just place. And that was for me awesome. I bought a powerlifting bar, which is uh, approximately 25 kilos. This is like 55 pounds. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, extra weights, uh, plus dumbbells, a bench. And the and, brand new... And the brand new rowing machine. Rowing yeah. machine, yeah. You're going to become Sean Baker very soon. Yeah, I love, I, I love rowing. rowing. I know, I never enjoyed bike or a treadmill or all those Whatever uh, you love, yeah. whatever is your thing. I found fascinating we, rowing we machine. Skipped I fall one, in love. And... We skipped one comment, it's Theodore. Here's yeah, I said to, to, to Thodore, uh, <laughs> yeah, Theodore. So, uh, I hope you're doing great for uh, in the land of Vikings. Let <laughs> us know how you're doing up there. Is it very cold? Are you sur surviving the Yeah, as far as I saw, it was snowing. Yeah. Do they have lockdown? They do. They used to have. I don't know what's going on Denmark. We're talking about Denmark. So, guys, if you uh, are living in a country where there's lockdown, where there's depression where there's fear all around where the people are going crazy wearing those masks we are living in a country where masks are not mandatory everything is open we are lucky. i don't think any viking could be sick from anything with exactly. so much meat and eggs well back then but today's vikings are trying to be yeah vegetarians etc but that's another story anyway we are living still in a country where nothing's forbidden and maybe somebody could say ah it's easy to talk for you no because we also had the big lockdown uh, during uh, the beginning of the year it was in march, march april, april and may, yeah, may. and also oh, in greece hard. I think it's the worst type of lockdown. Apollonas's father called today and he told him that he has only a couple of more minutes. He has to go back home because he wrote in a specific paper how long he will be out and how long, where he's going exactly. It's like, it's zero human rights, zero liberty. You cannot go anywhere. You have to write down exactly where you're going to go, why you're going to yeah, go. Yeah, I, I think it's a human a, a rights awful situation. Are I hope they're going to solve it uh, really soon. At zero the world, yeah, in the world. For me, it doesn't work. You know, it's uh, way too Elizabeth much for the people. Elizabeth says really hard. she loves her Spiner bike. That's nice. Paula says, mm -hmm. I love the rowing machine. It's my favorite gym equipment. Yeah, well, for me, it's really hard to bike. I'm really tall. It's and definitely it's, great. Yeah. I will make a recording of Apollonas when he's going to exercise Paulita, and I'm going to send it in Grigo's Keto Family Group. They have to see you rowing. Yeah, I think you know. Uh, you could make some tutorials. Tutorials, yeah. Maybe how I to properly yeah. row. Uh, for me, it's uh, way much no. easier rowing because you are utilizing uh, approximately 84% of all your muscles and uh, uh, you're utilizing legs and upper part. You know, that means working with the whole body. While, for example, uh, when biking, uh, I'm utilizing only the, the lower part. And for me, you know, uh, because I'm tall. Spin it's not spinner. Spinner. spinner bike. Yeah, spinner. I apologize. I'm a huge fan of, of brand spinner. spinner. <laughs> That's yeah. why I said spinner. Spinner bike. And it's really bad for the knees for me, so uh, I find it way much better the rowing machine. Whatever smiley is What's this? this? I think it's this or it's this. I don't know. Darlene sent us a smiley. <laughs> Smileys cool. are great. People, uh, do you know what the biggest thing that's missed in the world, and especially small kids forced to wear masks? They do not know when somebody is smiling. I know that, for example, my eyes are smiling now, but that's not the same like when you see me smiling, mm -hmm. it's not the same thing. So whenever it's possible, when you're making a photo of yourself, smile. If you're sending to a family member, if you're sending to your grandparents or uh, kids are uh, uh, Skyping or whatever video chat they are using uh -huh. with grandparents, use a lot of smile. Smile has been proven scientifically that it lifts up. It's contagious it's more contagious mm -hmm. than any virus in this world when you smile a lot the other person will automatically start smiling yeah, they will not exactly. understand why they're smiling and if you keep insisting and you smile at them they're gonna then maybe start laughing and this is even more therapeutic so please smile as smile, much as yeah. possible be brave when somebody tries to attack you in a way psychologically try to understand who are the understand who are the people that need to go a little bit Slowly. away from your huh. uh, life and away from your path because you need to grow as a human. You need to grow as a Ketonian also because being a Ketonian is a path. Mm -hmm. When we started, we also ate pork, chicken, and we were trying things. We slowly, gradually realized yeah, what are the bad to, things uh, on keto. Okay, this is personally my profession that I have access to all those stuff and uh, it's in books, it's in... Uh, on internet, you can find it also. It's not something difficult, but uh, 
you need to invest time in uh, researching all those stuff. What's going on? Why I should not eat? Why Apollon Roberta says I must not eat pork and chicken? Why is that? You know? We wrote so many articles about it. We actually keep, I keep tweeting about it. Apollon talks about it in Greek videos a lot. We want ruminant animals because of omega-3 and low omega-6, which is inflammatory, and also because of They don't of have amino profile. They don't have... The toxins uh, uh, in, in uh, omega Carnitine. They don't have so many... Like, There's so no many carnitine stuff. in chicken, right? Yeah, in uh, poultry, in uh, uh, generally pork, uh, even fish is low in carnitine. You have to consume red, red meat and animal ruminant meat. animal. You understand? This should be lamb, this should be sheep, this should need to be... Uh, doesn't matter, maybe a veal, which is really good, or beef. All the time, uh, chicken uh, and pork. This is not good. This is good, uh, Theodore tells us. It's awesome up here, minus one to minus five. It's approximately the same like here. The same here. like here, yeah. Okay, we have a lot, during the day a little bit higher, but it goes yeah, minus five at night. Situation here is way better than in Greece. There are rules, but no police or fines. You both look great, nice colors. <laughs> Forza Kidonia. Forza Kidonia. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Theodore. I hope you are uh, and your girlfriend are doing great. And I hope to meet you one day in Greece, as I hope to meet my Kidonians who are participants mm -hmm. of our first Keto Mediterranean retreat. Exactly. As long as there will be uh no lockdown and uh, international uh, tourists will be allowed to we're gonna see about that i'm uh, just uh, reviewing uh, every day everything so we're, we're gonna have I'm uh, an optimist. info i think everything's gonna change during the springtime i think some energies in europe are gonna wake up and stop this human right uh pressure and we're gonna finally we'll be able to uh live a normal well at least a little bit not the same but a little bit normalish yeah, life yeah. and we'll be able to travel and visit mediterranean countries when you visit any of the mediterranean countries you will be able to understand why we insist on kmd keto mediterranean diet any country from portugal to uh, egypt turkey uh, greece uh, croatia italy malta. france uh, spain malta i forgot malta but yeah, any of don't the countries. Forget Malta because it's gonna come. I should also. Charlton is gonna. Yeah, Charlton is not with us now, yeah. but he might see the video later. Uh, Morocco. Morocco, yeah, Algeria, Algeria of course, uh, all those countries. Or any of the countries. Uh, Gibraltar. <laughs> Just Gibraltar, yeah. choose a Mediterranean country. Go to visit whenever you can before you exit this world whatever way it's going to be, go to another planet, maybe. <laughs> yeah. okay. Anyway, this is a life-changing experience, mm -hmm. and we have been blessed to live in the Mediterranean zone because Adriatic Sea is half an hour driving from us now, so we are kind of in the Mediterranean zone. And you will, uh, you will be able to understand mm -hmm. everything that we have been telling you about, the feeling, the warmth, the, the passion that we are sharing here with all the people in the Mediterranean zone. So whenever you can, do visit, but keep the keto on. Do not cheat. There will be a lot of offers, pastas, pizzas, ice creams, th these things. Everything can be ketonized. Mm -hmm. Everything can be prepared even in your hotel room. Ooh, you yeah, can exactly. find a video how we, we prepare made so many ice cream times. in a hotel room's uh, balcony. And then we went I, I'm going to see I, if I'm going to find it, guys, now. Uh, that video. That video, I'm gonna see. Maybe we're gonna have it here somewhere. Yes. So and, you, you, uh, you can go and search for hotel room ice cream that we prepared two. Uh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there, this one. Yes. Two summers ago, we made, uh, here it is, we made ice cream by utilizing goat and sheep products. Yeah, this is uh, in, on uh, a balcony. You in can see it. Yeah, in Marathon. There's a swimming pool down. And I literally mix those things, put them in the hotel's freezer. And that's it. In the freezer. room. We had a, a freezer in the room, but if there isn't a freezer in your room, you can ask down at the lobby if they can place your homemade keto ice cream. Easy peasy. In. Look, I, I use the 100% stevia pills. Pills, extract. yeah. There I mineral use a little water. bit sparkling mineral water yeah. and things like that. So everything can be ketonized, and this is what we will teach those who will uh -huh. come and join us. 
uh, for a keto Mediterranean retreat in Greece. Paula says, yes, I can use uh, many muscles while well, still low impact for my back. For exactly, the yeah, rowing is top That's class for that. Good. Yeah, Elizabeth, You're gonna teach me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Elizabeth says uh, on my bucket list to visit Greece. Yes, you do. Oh, so you are not in Greece, Elizabeth. You are just originally from Greece. Well, uh, Greece has to be visited at least once in a lifetime. If you live wherever you live in this world. So many places you can visit in Greece. I don't know where to start. Greece is, is the I, well of knowledge, was, the uh, well of culture, the well of Born and raised in Greece and I didn't visit. And the well of beauty. Half of the country, yeah. yeah. Wherever you look, it's a beautiful view. 6,000 islands. Look, I look there know. behind me. It's like you just make a snap and you got yourself a postcard. All the photos I ever made in Greece. Carpo style, yeah, it is. Definitely like postcards. So uh, have in mind that we will do our best. We will work the best we can to uh, make mm. this retreat possible. The villa is reserved. All the 20 uh, spots are reserved. Uh, we are expecting Architonians. The majority of them are Americans. We have a couple of Australians. It's an international event that will take place. Well, if everything will be okay, it will be 19th to 26th of June 2021. So we are keeping our finger crossed, not only like this, but also like this, as we do in my country. And we are expecting mm -hmm. our Ketonians. My husband's father was from Athens. Well, your husband's grandfather was from Naflia. <laughs> Definitely, mm -hmm. by the last They're name. Coming, yeah, but Nafrio. your husband knows how beautiful is both Nafrio and uh, I think Elizabeth. That's the place where you should go. You should go to Nafrio first. It's the origin of your husband, and he's gonna see a lot of history there, a lot of great uh, places to visit, and also a beautiful beach to swim. I remember in Nafrio, the sea has this turquoise color. It's like like Caribbean color. It's extremely beautiful. Please do go to Nafplio. When you have this such a beautiful last name, you will understand how great is this There are place. many places you can visit. It used uh, to be a Greece. capital of Greece uh, 200 years ago. So yeah, it's it a place was, to visit. Uh, it was, uh, uh, and all those islands, I told you, we have more than 6,000 islands. So uh, Here I'm it's, using uh, Galatiri, but I'm also using go, uh, goat or sheep yogurt. I don't yogurt, even yeah, I think it's sheep yogurt. remember. No, this is particular is Galatiri. First but I uh, uh, you see how easy it is. You are just it's mixing fake. ingredients. Uh, you are uh, frozen. The same when we visited Arachova, we made uh, with uh, strawberries. With mascarpone and, and chocolate. And, yeah. and a lot of the cacao, mm -hmm. yeah. It was amazing in another hotel in a, in a place which is near to death. And this is something sweet because usually you can find meat in Greece. You can find meat literally everywhere. Lamb. Exactly. And seafood. So it's very easy. She says, thank, thank you. you well, well, we th Also, Elizabeth, think about our retreat. Maybe if you are on keto and if you are uh, in love with keto Mediterranean diet, Think about the retreat. So mm -hmm. when Greece opens, we will be, we promise to organize retreat every year after Greece opens. So let's keep our fingers crossed that Greece and European Union will change their mind about those restrictions uh, of travelers, uh -huh. of international yeah. travel. So we are, opti at least I am optimist. You are realistic. Yeah, I but know. I'm because optimistic. I know my country, my own country, I know them. You know, there isn't the realism there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know how is, they. Yeah. Okay. I know how they work. The like, glass those is guys. Half yeah. Full. <laughs> I know them. The glass is always half full. Sometimes yeah. it's half empty, but there's always some water inside. So you see, my chocolate ice cream is getting ready, and everything was made at the balcony of a hotel room. So don't say that you had to buy ice cream because it was smelling and looking full so of those, great. Uh, awful additives, guys. And they don't some have to give you starch and anything. anything. Yeah. They are putting no, you don't want it. You want to make Hope it you can see it, yeah. Freeze it in the freezer mm -hmm. and enjoy even just cool it down and eat it yeah, like a mousse, it's, chocolate it's, come mousse. Come on, it's it's so easy to It's a chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. Yes. <laughs> I want mouse. I want mouse, yeah. <laughs> My favorite character. He <laughs> wants to eat mouse and he wants mousse. <laughs> So, guys, if you have questions, because we have to wrap it up and we have yeah. to eat the last meal. Oh, yeah. Apollonius has to eat. I finished. This was the end of my dinner. I had a beautiful lamb broth uh -huh. with a lot, a lot of fresh herbs and uh, those that were uh, dried. So, I combined rosemary, sea buck, uh, no, uh, rosehip, and rosehip, rosemary, 
and uh, juniper berries and the broth. Juniper is fantastic. Broth I love juniper. Phenomenal, and you can eat it now. Yeah, it's waiting for you, and or you can eat whatever you want if you prefer seafood. But anyway, try to make it clean, guys. Try to eat clean. Try to avoid industrial products mm -hmm. and try to avoid supplements because supplements are never clean. They always come with and one I prefer to eat seafood uh, as a post-workout meal. Really easy to digest. Full of protein, quality protein, selenium, magnesium, all those stuff. They're packed there in the seafood. Uh, a lot of omega threes too. Wild, if it can be wild. Yeah, and... wild caught is top class. Frozen or fresh. Just don't check the uh, country of origin. Uh, please don't uh, uh, buy something that's from China, India, all those really dirty seas. Unfortunately, the sea there is very polluted yeah, in Asia, so those kind of seafoods are not going to be At least for you, say Alaskan food. and sometimes uh, maybe Arctic. California, yeah, yeah, or Arctic Sea, it's. Uh, still safe. Still safe, yeah, maybe uh, from uh, Greenland or, or uh, Norway around there. Uh, it's it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine, but uh, definitely not some or Atlantic. It's, it's exactly quite, one hour live. Now, is there any question we have? Let's see. Where's my mouse? I want mouse. mouse. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see. No questions. Okay, so don't be uh, shy. Send us something. Yeah. So we can nicely finish check this Greece. video. Just check Greece. That's yeah. Greece, guys. That's where we are. And this is exactly the place where we're going to have a competition of our, uh, mm -hmm. our Kijonians who are going to be participants of our retreat. There we're going to go to Laiki, which is a, a farmer's market in Greece. And we're going to compete who's going to buy better keto And actually, if you're going to hit the road, all this uh, road uh, up, uh, you're, you're going to reach the beach. Not Even only the beach, the they have a, a small port. They're coming ev early in the morning. Uh, seven o'clock, six Seven o'clock, yeah, small boats. That they, what uh, actually uh, well caught they have. This is top. I love it. Panayotis has a question or... Yes. Uh, he's doing uh, electronic cigarettes, says. Uh, oh. Look, it cannot uh, make uh, your keto to actually, he, he asks, you know, if he can. Uh, it's the worst uh, thing you can do. We were talking really about bad, but being brave. This is, uh, you know, Stop smoking. There isn't, there isn't. There isn't excuse. I know, I know that Sorry, it there cannot isn't excuse. Uh, actually kick you out of ketosis if it's this your question, but it's uh, something that it's you should toxin. avoid, yeah, at it's all a costs. Uh, a lot of people are doing that uh, with the food or just the cigarettes or whatever it is, you know, it cannot uh, maybe harm your ketosis, but it's something that you don't want. It's the same thing that you're consuming, for example, those. Uh, uh, additives in the food. It cannot uh, hurt your ketosis, it cannot kick you out of ketosis. Do but not you should not uh, be do it. afraid of yeah. the, uh, this. Uh, it cannot affect your ketosis, but. No, but do not be afraid to quit. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, if I you think are uh, there, I think you're really close to, to quit that, you know. If you're already thinking about ketogenic diet, this means you care about your health. If you care about your health, this addiction is the, the smallest thing you can cut in your life. Do whatever technique exists mm -hmm. out there. Do some meditation. Do some. There are even those patches. There are one million ways you can uh, get rid of this uh, yeah, stress. You will be able to overcome stress. There are herbal remedies. If you would like, we can send you a herbal remedy which can reduce your uh, stress. And this would be a herbal tea that you will just have to go to herbal mm -hmm. pharmacy or somewhere. I'm sure in Patra you have a lot of those places, pharmacies which are plant yeah, sending plants. But uh, you know, guys, uh, it's it's really easy. You need uh, since you're going to enter uh, the world of uh, ketogenic diet, everything is going to change. Since it's clean because there are a lot of ketogenic diets here. We're doing keto Mediterranean, which means uh, we have only quality stuff to consume really clean uh we don't want cigarettes we don't want uh, additives we don't want all those stuff that will keep uh, uh, harm our health you understand we don't want addictions yeah this is you the problem we're are fighting our addiction Panagioti, you are the boss of your life you're the boss of your body you are the boss of your brain don't allow your brain control you you control the brain you control the addiction mm -hmm. you can do it i'm sure you can do it many people have overcome this and they then Keto worked 1 million percent because even though keto will help you maybe to lose some weight, health 
will mm-hmm. not be regained as long as you are smoking. So yeah, uh, and I think I'm uh, with you. You will be able to overcome uh, this. This uh, quote, at least, is one of my favorites. Uh, it says, "The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way." So uh, you have to pass through it. You cannot avoid it. You cannot avoid your uh, you, the obstacles that you're meeting. You don't want to quit mm-hmm. because sometimes even uh, if we're following ketogenic diet. Uh, even if we're not doing it on purpose, we are out of ketosis. So what? We're keep, after that, going back to and uh, following uh, our meals as always been. We're following uh, our, uh, we're on track again. Because something happened, just happened. It's past. It belongs to the past. We look, keep looking forward and we're moving. You should not stay back. You should not remain to that obstacle. You just, you need to pass it and move along. Exactly. We hope we helped you, but uh, further talking with opponents and if you're going to start on a meal plan with him, I'm 1 million percent mm-hmm. sure you will also be able to quit smoking. Heart back to you. Thumbs up from Paula. Very nice of you guys. We appreciate your support. We are, uh, appreciate you coming and watching us and sending your comments, sending your uh, questions. We are working on many things. We are actually, I'll tell you a great news. We are working on YouTube studio. We want to make our own studio Mm -hmm. where we will be able to broadcast videos, uh, to broadcast lives. Apollonas Mm -hmm. will be able to do his uh, Greek video channels, but we will be doing more of Grigos. And then we will be able to have guests. We will be able to have those uh, it, it will be like a podcast, but not really podcast. It's, it's going to be something that is going to bring Grigos Kita to another level. We are currently working on it, and we hope that it's, our dream will come true. And when you mm-hmm. believe in a dream, it always comes true. It's always like this. Yeah, Just yeah. It's it. always, I, I know it requires, it takes time. It takes time. Uh, time always it takes. But uh, step by step uh, and steady. You're gonna succeed. It's it's just a matter of time, you know. Look at you, it. It's like meander. Meander, yeah. Uh, Darlene says, "I need to hear you guys today." That's re- really nice. Mm-hmm. We're sorry we were not live uh, yesterday. As we said, we stayed without electricity. So we lived in 18th century for a day, and we had such a great time. Both of it us. It was refreshing. <laughs> it's refreshing, and we yeah, realized exactly. actually that we can. Uh, eat properly, eat keto foods, uh, clean the home and uh, wash dishes even if we don't have electricity. So yeah, it was fun. It was, uh, something, it was uh, great. Difficult. Yeah, it of was, course, uh, let's hope will not happen for longer. For longer, yeah. But, but uh, we will be prepared for that, next time. Uh, I think it was really good. It's a lesson. Everything is a lesson and uh, we need to learn from our lessons. And um, I don't know, you know, we need to... Uh, those situations are revealing us uh, what we are really are made of or we need to change something uh, because sometimes me too i'm getting nervous oh now it's happening electricity i cannot send emails i, I cannot send my meal plans i have uh, to, change the, to change the drill you know you had 4g and, so you sent yeah it exactly so i had solution i had 4g i solved my problem instantly okay maybe it's gonna have to go to another device and somehow transfer all those stuff it goes out of the ordinary, but uh, we have to do it that way. There was a one bad day, but today you got yourself a rower. Yeah. So you were able no to No electricity trade. there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, need... I'm generating the this electricity. This is the electricity, yeah. the power of your arms. Yeah, exactly. So you have a lot of power inside of each of you. You do not be afraid. Mm-hmm. If somebody is forcing you to wear masks, uh, investigate very well. Uh, the situation in your country and see if the law is protecting you because it is against human rights. Check with the Supreme Court, guys. This is the best. Uh, Actually, we checked with the Supreme Court and uh, that's it. The Supreme Court says you don't have to. You are, uh, it's against the human rights. Goodbye. Nobody can do anything about it. Paula is excited about the new rower. Yeah, Uh, it's it's a great... uh, I'll send you a photo. I'll send you a photo. It's a great dream of a Polonaise which came true and things just happen in the right moment when you uh, concentrate on things that matter in life, things that actually will help you Mm -hmm. grow mentally, psychologically, economically, whatever you want it. Uh, just try to find the inner, as they, the Greeks say, kefi. It's, it's a power which is uh, powering us to become, it, it's kind of a engine deep inside of us, a psychological engine, which will help yeah, us I overcome think, uh, anything in life. 
The, the problem is that we made the center of our galaxy money, and we are uh, just uh, 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 there is an orbital around money, and that's it. You know, we are keep going, keep going, keep going, and that's uh, really bad. We should uh, investigate in our life what we need to change because money, uh, of course, is a is a great tool. It's something amazing because it can bring you a lot of stuff in your life and change and transform actually your life. Uh, but uh, we cannot make it the center because it's going to consume us. It's like actually a black hole. We need to, to focus, make money, uh, make uh, and help other people. This is the goal, guys. You help other people, grow other people, so they, on their turn, can help other people. That's the reason I think we are here. If we are not uh, helping other people, then we're wasting our time here. That's it. That's it. And that's why we are trying to share our good spirit, our good feeling with all of you. And hopefully you will bring more viewers mm -hmm. to Grigos Kita. So spread the news. This is all I want to ask from you. Maybe share this video on your social media. Invite friends, invite families to join us. We are we're going to be live every week. We cannot exactly. promise it will be every Sunday, but it will definitely be every week, at least once. And when we have form our uh, YouTube video uh, studio, then uh, we will have at least two or three videos three, per yeah, week. Exactly. So that will be, I, I think it's going to be great. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes, you know, you're going, this is it, that uh, you never know. And uh, I think uh, because uh, our, uh, it sometimes seems linear for the, uh, the whole thing, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we are explorers. Even, <laughs> even like Bitcoin, maybe it's going like Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Now Bitcoin growing. is a new hype. <laughs> but it's growing. So your bravery can grow. If you are afraid, if you're living in fear, trust us, everything can be over. When you are afraid, have in mind, 40% of your immune system is shut down. So do not be afraid of anything. You are extremely powerful mm -hmm. being. You are a human of enormous powers. And how to find those powers? Well, you can investigate. You can use your intelligence to find a way to help yourself. And this can be self-help or by a exactly. professional. For example, if you need a nutritionist, a polonas is here. If you need any other type mm -hmm. of help, search for a professional and professionals usually are very happy to help and they want only the good for you. So also you should help those around you. Exactly. Uh, Theodore has Says. good luck with the new staff. Thanks for, for uh, guidance. guidance. Be so well, good. stay safe. Hugs. Thank you. Hugs to you too. Hugs to you too. Thank you so much. So, it's, guys, don't forget, uh, keep calm and drink your omega 3s or eat them. Uh, cod liver cod oil. Cod liver oil, yeah. Or Cibactor. And, of course, bone broth almost daily. That's going to save you. So, well, it works. It really works for me, and I wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend it if it didn't. As always, stay ketogenized. To the full potential. And always positive. Please stay positive. See you next week. See Bye. you, guys.